everybody. This is Angie with Renaissance Club Sport. And on behalf of the Club Sport and Formula 3 Fitness family, we like to welcome you to Cardio Sculpt. Today will be a 55 minute workout with intervals of strength and cardio. Um, for the workout, you will need weights. If you don't have weights, it's okay. Just bring some canned goods out or anything that you have on hand. Um, but today we'll be working a full body workout. It will be hard, it will be sweaty, but it's gonna be perfect for you. So I want you to, don't worry about what I'm doing the whole time. If you need to take it down a level or if you need to level up, by all means do that. I invite you to make this your own workout. I'm just here for support. Um, with that said, let's get started. I'm gonna do a five minute warm up, just like I do every time. I'm meant to get your heart rate moving, get the joints kind of ready to work, and it will go into our blocks of work today. So I'm gonna start my music. It's not gonna be super loud. If you like your own music while you exercise, definitely put it on, have it on in the background. But as we warm up, I just want you to stand with your feet hip distance apart. Roll your shoulders down and back a few times. Kind of loosen up the neck, loosen up these traps right here. Good, right here. Two more. I need this. I've been on my computer all morning. Right, and take it to the front here. Just kind of rotating those shoulders here. Good. I want you to squat. You're gonna squat down and then you're gonna reach with a little bit of an oblique opener. So squat and reach. Down and up. As you come down and reach up, push through the whole foot. Right here, down and come across. Down, come across. I'll switch it up on you every 30 seconds, give you something new to do. Can you drop your butt down lower than your knees? Nice wide stance for me. Good, four more here. Now really reach, let the rib cage open up. One more on each side. Good, now just squat and reach out to the front. I still am gonna keep my feet pretty wide, wider than shoulder distance. Toes are turned out. Now as I pull, I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together. Squeeze right here. Get your back. Let's make it ready to work. I'm still dropping my glutes down below my knees. Kind of opening up those hips. Keep going. Reach and pull. Reach, pull it back. When I say pull, I'm pulling my elbows back past my rib cage. Squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm gonna do three, two, reach and pull. Last one, stay here. Reach up, go back to that little mini, go back to that, the first move that we did. But instead of going really deep, keep it high and just concentrate on opening up. Now as I continue this, Come across your body right here. Push, now taking the heel of my hand and pushing. I wanna create some distance right here. Opening up my hip in the back. Hip, right here. So straighten it out, push that back heel down. Push and push, good. Keep going here. Nothing too crazy yet. Let's just warm up, four. Good, three. Last two, we're gonna do a forward lunge with a little bit of a sweep. So I want you to stand with your feet hip distance apart. You're gonna go lunge forward. You're gonna sweep in front of that foot and come on up right here, lunge and sweep. So I'm actually asking you to load up that front leg. Load it up, which means I'm not gonna keep my shoulders over my hips. I'm actually gonna move in and load up that front leg, sweep it. Right in front and sweep. Every time we get our heart, arms up over the head, right? Our head, heart rate starts to go up. That's what I was trying to say, right here. My brain almost needs a warm up right now. So sweep, load up that front foot, guys. For four. Plus it kind of looks pretty. Three, right here. Two, we're gonna work laterally. So you're gonna need room side to side. Last one, same thing, kind of touch the floor. Touch and pull. So I want you to shift those hips back over that opposite heel right here, okay? Push, arm, squeeze it down, sweep. Can you take your chest? Keep it lengthened. So I'm doing that to avoid my shoulders hunching, okay? Keep it nice and 
nice and wide here. Four each side. Three more each side. Right here. Good guys. Thanks for those of you who keep your videos on. It just makes me feel like I'm working out with my friends. Last one each side. Good. Right foot forward. Do me a favor. You're going to come into this runner's lunge. So I'll kind of give you a side view. Hands are on the inside of that front foot. And back hip is nice and straight. Now take my front, my front hand to myself a thoracic spine twist right here. Reach it up. Open up that chest over that front knee. Good. Two more. Now stay in this lunge position, but now work back and forth between a little hamstring opening and then a hip opener. Hamstring. You're not holding anything for too long. Hamstring. And then drop that hip. Let that back hip open up. Four. Three. So I'm just putting this toe up in the air. Two. And one. You got to do our other side. Left foot forward. Same thing. Hands on the inside of that front leg. Open. Right here. So my chest is opening over that front knee. Chest is gonna stay nice and lengthened. Again, we're trying not to cave in. Now squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top of this. You got two more. Now we're gonna do that dynamic hamstring stretch right here. So shift it back. And then come forward and stretch. Back into that hamstring stretch. It should feel good. Hopefully this is kind of feeling like your hamstrings are getting a little bit of opening. We have a little bit of deadlifts today. We have lots of lunges today. Lots of lunges of fun and push-ups today as well. So if any of you guys are working on the push-up challenge that Erin Woodbury put out to the group, you'll get your push-ups done today. Shake it out, guys. Let's go into our first block of work. You need something that you can press up overhead into a shoulder press, but I would keep it on the lighter side you have weight options. If you don't have weights, fists or pan goods. Those will work just fine. You're going to take yourself into a front wrapped position, meaning that your hands are going to be at your ears. You're not going to be tense. So right here, right here. Give me a reverse lunge. Come down, press at the bottom, and stand. So alternate your lunges. Press at the bottom of that lunge and stand. You keep going. Let me set my timer. I'll keep us honest today. So when I don't use a timer, I start talking. And then before we know it, we have done way too many. You guys keep going. Take your time. So you can also reverse lunge and press at the top. It's harder when you press at the bottom of that lunge. Now, can you hover that back knee? Can you challenge yourself for a few more? Hover it and press so that you have a neutral grip with those palms. Palms are facing in at your ears. Good, four, three, we're not done, okay? Two, whatever foot's forward, just keep that in mind. Stay right here. All right, let's, now let's press up here. Burn out our shoulders, hover that knee a little bit lower. Get it real close to the ground for four each side. You should be shaking three, that's a good thing. Two, one more. You gotta come out of that and just remember in your head, that was my right foot. Cause we gotta do our other side during the second set of blocks. All right. We are kneeling, guys. This is a kneeling exercise. Please make sure you have something under your knees to support. We're doing bicep curls. And we're gonna kneel back. I don't, know what, I don't even know what this is called. But I'm making it up as I go along. Different names. So I'm kneeling right here. Let me do this from the side view. You need something to do a bicep curl with. This also works great with just body weight. I'm already dreading this. Push my weights together at my chest. I'm gonna lean back. Feel my quads kind of catch. Come straight up. Two curls right here. So, at the end of the two curls, press my weights together, chest into my chest. Lean back. You feel that 
when you lean back and come on forward. Two curls right here. So, some people are like, I can't do that. I can't be on my knees like that. Totally fine. You keep working. You can do, you can give me a little quad focus squats and then curl up here, okay? Don't let that get in the way of you not focusing on the fronts of these legs. Let's do four more right here. That lean back is so feel the front of the the front of the legs, those quadriceps feel and catch and curl. Come on back. Yeah. This won't hurt your knees. I'm a bad knee. And I can do this. Come on back. So the second time we go through this, I'm gonna give an L a progress option on that one. Two more. Nice and slow we go. And we'll do some cardio. We'll get our heart rates up right now. Okay? Last one. Lean back. Almost like you're going under a limbo bar. Last set of curls. Excellent. Put those weights down. You're going to need some space and a smaller set of weights. Lightweight lateral punch down. So, with a five pound set of weights, no weights works awesome too for this. Let's get our heart rates up, guys. Have some space to work lateral. You're going to punch towards your opposite foot right here. We're going to do it nice and quick for 45 seconds. Let's get our heart rates up. Ready, steady, go. Punch and switch, make it fast, fast. So as I pull and transition, I keep that weight close into my chest. Punch, punch. So it's like you have your opponent on the ground. You're giving them a quick finish right here. I'm not coming out of this little mini lateral squat that I'm doing, lateral lunge. Punch. You're halfway there. Keep going. Get a little bit lower. Transition faster. Heart rate goes up. Keep it up, guys. Lucky nice. Keep it up. Butt is back. Almost there. You got four. Three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Whew. That worked. Hopefully the heart rate went up. Come on down, guys. First set of push-ups we're going to be doing a lot today is 15, 15 push-ups. We're doing a set of push-ups after every one of our blocks today. So with that, I want you to take your hands. So if push-ups don't work, guys, chest press or hold your plank. That's fine. But if you're going to do push-ups with me right here, nice strong high plank position, lower that chest by shooting those elbows Back at that angle. You're looking like an arrow right here. Not a gold post. Once you hit 15, sit back in a child's pose. Good. And sit it back. That's block one, guys. Let's do it all again. Going back to those shoulder presses in the lunge. 15 push with me on every block. This is my gift. It's my hump day gift to you. And it's to make up, it's to make up for those tacos, the tequila, burritos, the chips from yesterday. Okay, front rack, let's go. Down, neutral press at the bottom, please, okay? Down, neutral press. If you need extra time, if you need to take a break, breathe. You can always catch up. Don't worry about how fast or slow I go. Good. So I'm checking my own form as I'm watching myself and realizing I'm not coming down low enough. Are you going down low enough? Really concentrate. Come down low, guys. Remember, we have that shoulder burnout at the end. Let's do one more per side. I started that last set with my left, my right foot in front, so I got to get my left foot in front. Let's do that. Put that right, put the next foot in front. Make sure you're set up and alternate presses right here. Come and get it, guys. Right here. We got six, almost there. Five, lower down. Four, three, legs should be on fire. Two, and one. Good, come out of that. Going back to that 
kneeling position, take the option if you need to do the standing, um, the standing version of that move. Remember, it's just a little heel lifted squat right here with two bicep curls. The, uh, the, I want you to push me the bicep curl. So, last time you lean back. Now we're gonna sit back harder. So catch your breath. Maybe that's just me needs to do that. You're gonna have your weights pressed together. Right here, shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna sit, stand, or sit and kneel. Two curls. Right here. It's a little bit harder. Sit and up. Two curls right here. I feel like I get a little bit more range of motion when I sit it back. So really concentrate on driving forward with those quads. That's the most important part. Right here. Sit and up. Two curls. Excellent. Let's do two more, guys. Where's my timer? I didn't turn it on. I think we're getting to 45 seconds. The trainer brain in me says yes. Last one. Sit it back. Come on up. Two curls. Put those weights down. And then grab for your heavier, or your lighter, sorry, your lighter weights. If you have them, to punch down. You know, it also works with body weight and mind muscle connection. Just punching down. I add weights to my cardio because I don't jump a lot. And it's a way, light weights are a way to help me get my heart rate up. Okay, lateral punches, opposite foot. You guys ready? Let's go. Punch, punch. And we're staying low, not straightening up. Make sure your chest is pointed towards the area that you're punching at. You gotta pull that elbow back up just as actively as you punch it down. So keep that upper body nice and engaged. For 15 more seconds, get lower, go faster. Let's go. It's okay to get breathless. It won't kill ya. Keep going. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Don't forget we have our push-ups, guys. I know you forgot. I don't forget. So, I'm trying to show different variations of push-ups this week. But if you are trying to get a massive amount of push-ups in every week, every day, to meet the challenge, you may be coming down to your knees. So in order to do that, I'll show that one version right here. High plank to start, and you just drop those knees with the toes curl under. Hands are underneath the shoulders, so a little bit wider, and you're lowering all the way down. I said this on Monday, I'd rather see a version of the push-up where you get depth than where you get ego, okay? So if you feel like this will give you the depth to really feel it in your chest, shoulders, and triceps, this is the push-up for you. Because up here, if you're just here at this little depth, you're not gonna get the pure benefit of the push-up. Come on up, guys. Get yourself some water. Block one is finished. We're gonna move on. Second block of work. You guys look excellent. For those of you whose videos are on, you guys are amazing. Videos are off. I still love you, don't even worry about it. Okay, so now you're gonna need something that you can row. So we have forward lunge with two rows at the end. And we're gonna shift back, okay? So something that you can row, but your legs can handle as well. Grab those, grab that weight. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds, okay? So you're gonna roll your shoulder down and back. Stand up tall. Big step forward, guys, big step. Load that front leg. Those weights are gonna kind of tug the ankle. Row for two. Here we go, power in. Power and stand, opposite. Now, you're alternating that lunge. The big star of the show is our row. When you do all these push-ups, you've got to work those opposite muscle groups, guys. Let's not do our backs a disservice by just hammering out a bunch of push-ups. 
Our quads get to help us. Now, if you can't do dynamic lunges, if moving in and out of a lunge is hard, stay here. Stay here in the staggered stance and just row free, okay? Take the option. Be your own hero and honor your own body, your ability, what you're feeling today. Tomorrow's workout might be different too. I think we're almost there. Let's do one more, just for good measure. Good, come up to a standing position. Put those down. So we have another version of the shoulder press. So you need a weight that you can press up overhead. But you're gonna do it in a balanced position. I work a little bit of core with this, okay? So I'm killing the shoulders today. Right here. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna balance on one foot and the and I'm gonna press the opposite way overhead. Alright? Come here and press. So as I do that, abs are tight and I'm gonna press that weight up overhead. I'm definitely, I'm challenging my core to help me right here. I want my core to be tight, I want my butt to be tight, I'm gonna press. You guys look great. Nice job, keep going. Take it slow. Don't look at me, don't look at your camera. Find that space that's not moving out in front of your vision and press right here. Abs are in, knees up. So your goal, and I didn't do it there, is to make move, make each move individual. Meaning that every, the knee lift is one, the press is the next. It takes away all momentum. Good, keep going. Let's do one more on each side. And up, and press, good. Last one, knee up. You can press it there. Come on down, put the weights down for me. Kick and pull, oh. We did this last week. Did not like it last week. But even trainers don't like certain moves and I put it into my classes because I want to do it otherwise. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pull my, pull my weight, light weights, light weights, by the way, it's cardio. I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna kick right here. So I'm loading up this front leg. Back leg's gonna kick, it's gonna go higher than your hips. Meanwhile, I'm driving my elbows back, continuing to work my back. 30 seconds per side. I think last week, go ahead and go. I remember I pulled up a pair of eight pounders for this, thinking my back's super strong. No biggie, right? It was a biggie. <laughs> I felt it. So I'm loading up this front heel. We're gonna switch our sides here in five, four, three. Can you get your leg higher? Two, switch it. Go right into it, guys. So you're just switching your leg. It's the same motion though. Ooh, lost my balance, there we go. Bending and straightening that front leg with that big strong kick. Pull. Imagine the power from that row that you're pulling is transferred into the kick to make it even more powerful. Five, four, three, two, one. Put those weights down, guys. Guess what? Back to those push-ups. Let's do 15. If you have a bench, a couch, an elevated surface nearby, Use it, it's totally fine. If you have a wall, wall push-ups work just as great, guys. 15 is our number. Come on down, I'm working on my knees today. I'm still feeling the push-ups from yesterday. Down and up for 15. Plus, like I mentioned before, I wanna feel this. I wanna get the depth. I want my abs to help support me. And I can only do that for so many reps on my toes. Doing these on my knees is gonna get me a lot further. Good, last one. Sit it back for a second, guys. Sit it back. Okay, come on up. 
back to that front row in the two, the front one, the two rows. So I go heavier on here. So I'm working my back and I'm working my legs. You pick a weight that works for you. Standing up nice and tall. Come forward. Remember we loaded. Two rows. Power back to stand. Or you just stay in this bent over position and just row. Row for 15. If not, you're working side to side, alternating that lunge. Very similar to that lunge we did with the sweep in the very beginning, guys. You are loading up the front leg, the back leg. You're working the quad on the way back, that back leg, to help pull you up. But let's load up that front leg as we row. Can you do two more right here? Let's see it. Last one. Good, come on up guys. We have the one song that runs from that on the soundtrack. We have our shoulder press with the uh, opposite march. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do this time though. I'm gonna make it more challenging. So before I got to press on the leg that was standing, right? Now I'm gonna press when the opposite leg is standing, right? So I'm gonna lift that knee up, whatever knee lifts is the side that presses. Yes, that's what it looks like. So it's a little bit more challenging. I lost my foundation when I'm pressed, when I'm pressing. So I have to really squeeze my abs, tighten up those glutes, keep your elbows high, right here. So you'll notice your balance suffers when you lose that engagement, when you forget to breathe, or when you're looking at something that's moving, that's one of the other things that really makes a difference. Good, keep working opposite. Knee is up over the hips if you can get it there. Keep going. You have three more. Good, last two. Last one, please. Excellent. Put those weights down. Hey, we have the row to kick, guys. My supermodel fan is not producing the power I was hoping it was today. Super sweaty. I hope you are too, though. It's nice to feel the glow, right? 30 seconds per side, guys. You're going to row and kick. Let's see here. You ready? Load up the other foot first this time. Let's go. 30 seconds. Remember, transfer that power, guys. Throughout pull and kick. Kick goes higher than the hip. Kick it up. Power. Pull the elbows back, guys. Pull. So I bet you anything, you do this with that weight, you'll be feeling it just as much. Heart rate will go up because we're working the big muscles of our legs. Let's switch sides in two. And one. Reset and switch. Pull here. Oh, good, guys. Woohoo, keep going. Halfway, 15 more seconds on this side. Relax your grip on those weights, guys. No death grip here. Almost there, five. I see you, four, don't stop. Three, two, and one. Cool. That was fun. Come on down, guys. 15 push-ups. So this is the option for you. If you're over the push-ups, you get a one-minute break. If not, you're on the ground. Hands underneath the shoulders a tiny bit wider. Hips are nice and straight. 15, you go. Your breath counts here, guys. So pull the abs in. Exhale every time you press away from the ground. Five more. Go ahead, last one. Sit it back in child's pose while I explain while I explain our next block. Block two is done, guys. Looking so good. 
Block three, we are starting our deadlifts. More shoulder work right here. Deadlift to an upright row. Do what makes sense for you. Deadlift, upright row. You can do two weights. If you have a kettlebell, grab a kettlebell. We'll do that for 45 seconds. And then we're going straight into push ups with this one. So for an upright row, if you do have dumbbells on the lighter side, we're kind of isolating the fronts of those shoulders right here. So take your feet a little bit wider in hip distance. Turn your toes out for this deadlift right here. Roll your shoulders down and back. You're going to go into that deadlift so weights come to that mid shin. As you come up, glutes are tight. Lift up those hands. Elbows go higher than your wrists right here. And up. Keep the weights close to your body, guys. Come all the way down. Power up. Inhale back. Exhale with that pull here. If you are tired of shoulder work, too bad. But because I'm nice, you can also do a bicep curl here. If you're dealing with shoulder issues, rotator cuff issues, that's fine. Add the bicep here. That totally works too. Or just do your deadlift, guys. The point is to do you, right? Although, shoulders and glutes are my favorites. I never miss an opportunity to work those two muscle groups. Keep going, four more. Go on, last two. Really push those hips back, guys. This is your hinge, not your squat. Last one. Come on up. We're going straight into our push-ups this time before we go into our cardio. So this is just 15 push-ups for our upper body. Okay, so we'll do push-ups and cardio. So our block three right here. 15. Come on down. I'm still on my knees because I want the depth today. That's my focus. If you are working on building up your ability to do these on your toes, do a couple on your toes and then drop down to your knees. Once you hit 15, you're up. We're going right into cardio. Sit it back. We have another punching move for our cardio. So if you do have lighter weights, grab them, and if not, no big deal. We're gonna do a back step to a cross punch. So if you're new to this, I always try to come up with cardio that doesn't include a ton of jumping. I'm old. My knees don't like it. We have a little bit of jumping at the very end. But all my cardio I try to do kind of kickboxing, weighted kickboxing. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna step back with my right foot. I'm gonna punch across my body with my right arm. And I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna do this really quickly for 45 seconds. I'm gonna keep the weight elevated over my heart, punch hard, step back with power. And guess what? Heart rate will go up. And I did not have any impact, all right? So join me when you're ready. I'm here. Step back, cross punch right here. Punch, punch. So abs are tight. I want you to picture what you're punching, whether it's an inanimate object, a bag, or a person. But no, let's just concentrate on a punching bag, please. Right here, step with power back. Step with power and finish your punch. Your arm should be fairly straight at the end of that punch. Abs are tight. There is a reason boxers have great abs. It's they're doing this brace work for hours a day. Keep going for four, three, two, and one. There you go. Heart rate's elevated. Let's go back. Take a moment, water if you need it. We're gonna go back to the deadlift to upright row. Timing is perfect, guys. Making our way through. Remember, we go lighter on the upright rows than our shoulder presses. Also because we've got push-ups right after this. We have a wide stance for our deadlift. Shoulders down and back. Let's do this. Deadlift. Elbows up. As I push my hips back, guys, my back is nice and straight. There's no curving. My gaze goes with me with my head. So I'm not extended in my cervical spine or my neck. 
Elbows higher than those wrists, guys. Not good. Shift. Let those weights come to about mid shin. And up. Boy, guys, let's do four more. Are you squeezing your glutes at the very top? Give me an extra squeeze. Last two. Last one. Down for your push ups, guys. 15 to go. Transitioning quick will keep your heart rate up. So when you're ready, set yourself up into your desired position, which hopefully is not on the ground, in the nap, in your nap position, and get your, get your push-ups done. 15. If you're starting to fatigue, do eight, do six. Give me something, guys. Guess what? You can do more than what your mind is telling you. I promise you that. Once you get 15, you're back up with your light weights. Remember how we punched last time. That's what we have coming up. All these push-ups. What if I told you now we're nearing the 90 po? We just neared. We just got 90 push-ups done. Yeah. What if I told you we're doing 140? That's why I keep that number in mind. That's how many our total will be at the end of this workout if you do all of them with me. All right. Ready. We're going to step back, punch across, 45 seconds. I say that now. You can pretend you're punching me. Let's go. Punch. Punch. I realize I'm stepping to the back. I'm to the side. And I should be stepping back and crossing. Power back with that foot. Really punch across your body, guys. Almost there, almost there. Give me 15, please. Can you pull your abs in tighter and punch a little bit stronger? Make your whole upper body feel this. 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, the last one. Excellent. So that's block three, and you're done. You have one more block, and then I have a little finisher mitt to finish up with our push up. One squat, one deadlift. So what's going to happen? You're going to grab a weight, two weights, whatever you have. You're going to keep your feet in the same position the whole time. It's going to be one squat, one deadlift. So we're adding together two moves, two more basics. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So grab the heaviest thing you have. You can also, I know some of you have lighter weights. Grab two. Hold it together here for your squat. I'll show you guys with my two weights. There we go. Ready? Squat. I'm going to go wide with my squat so I can do my deadlift wide. So I'm not constantly changing my feet. One squat. One deadlift. Right here. As you come up, squeeze those glutes, guys. Squeeze at the end of the squat. Squeeze at the end of that deadlift. Right here. Now challenge the squat. I want it low. Let's not waste our workout by doing sub hard work, okay? You have the rest of the day to take a load off, right? Whew. You know, cook, do the dishes. Take care of the kids. This is really our break, huh? Scary. Four more. Right here. Your heart rate should be elevated at this point since we have heavier weights. We're working our big muscle groups. Two more, please. All right, last one. Good. You guys are going to grab a lighter set of weights or um, or body weight for this one, actually. We have a reverse fly. We're working our back. So for this one, I use, I think, eights or tens. What's going to happen, you'll split your stance. You'll be here, reverse fly, working the backs of those shoulders and the upper back. I realize my tens are too heavy, so I'm going to go a little bit lighter. 
but the whole thing needs to be done in this position. Create some gravity for your back to work against, right here with the weight. Depending on your weight, can you do eight, 10, or 15? So your three options. So if you have a lighter weight, you're gonna go a little bit more. Heavier weight, you do a little less. Don't let your number, don't get, don't get stuck on a number though. Do it till your muscles feel like they're done. Good, last one. Keep going if you need it. If not, shake it out. I have an ab move for our next exercise, and that'll be our fourth block. And then our final, uh, final group of work will be, uh, will be some cardio and the rest of our push-ups. So don't despair. You're gonna get it all in at the end. Grab your light weight. What's gonna happen is you're gonna come onto your side. Let me see. Side. Um, you're gonna do it, everyone will be a modified side plank, okay? You're gonna come up, bottom knee down, bottom elbow down. What's gonna happen? So you can do this without weight, by the way. Let me demonstrate without weight so you can determine if you wanna pick up a weight. Knee to elbow, and then I want you to touch straight in front of you. Knee to elbow, and touch straight in front of you. You wanna add weight. Again, why do I add weight? I don't know. I like pain, I suppose. It adds challenge. You add weight when you've mastered the move without it. You don't add weight when you're new to this. Your shoulders, you could be able to handle this. Keep going. Excellent, keep going. Five. Four, dropping the weight here. That gets heavy overhead. Three. Are you breathing? Two. Last one. Good, let's go back. Let's do the other side I like. And then we'll go back to the top. That way we get to do this twice. It's one of my favorites. Okay, set it up. Knee to elbow. And then toe to finger right here. Knee to elbow. Now, I pulled in my oblique right here. And as I bring my knee to elbow, my toe to my fingers, I'm really squeezing. I'm contracted through my center right here. Keep going, let's do six more. You guys look great, yay, five. I love all the videos on this week. It really doesn't make me feel so alone. Three. Good. Two. Last one. Good. Come on up, guys. Let's do those deadlifts. To, uh, deadlift to. Oh, sorry. Squat to deadlift. Squat to deadlift, Angie. Grab your weight. Remember, your feet are going to be a little wider than hip distance. Toes are slightly turned out. It's something that you can do a pretty good a depth, a, a squat with some depth here. So squat up and then deadlift. When you share weight like this, one move is going to be a little bit harder than the other. My assumption is the deadlift should be on the easier side. Squat might be a little bit harder right here. Especially if you're coming down low and not squat with this weight at your chest. Good, let's do four more. You notice that's my number? You never know. I forgot, I always keep reading this on my timer. But you go with four in the field, that's the whole point, right? You need a break, you take it when you need it. No, no egos allowed here, guys. Good, one more, all the way through. One squat, one deadlift. Good, come on up. Put those weights down. Grab that lighter set of weights or 
or band something from verse 5. Okay? Almost there, guys. Almost there. Roll your shoulders down and back. Stagger your stance. Right here. Chest is nice and lengthened. Weight is square over that front heel. And I'm going to leave with the backs of my hands and my elbows. Squeezing at the very top. Don't let them just drop all the way down. Resist it down. Good. Last five. Good. Last three. Good. Last one. Put your weights down. Come on to the ground. Let's finish our abs, and then I'll show you what I have at the very end. Here, how are we going to get 50 push-ups in? I still got to get them in, right, for my 140. Where is that number coming from? Well, if you do 1,000 push-ups in a week, you do 142 a day. I'll get you there, the 140, and after that, you're on your own. Why are we doing that? One of our instructors put out a nice challenge to our group to do a thousand this week. So some people are enjoying it. Other people are not so much, but either way, something fun and motivating. You are participating in it and don't feel like doing it all in the course of an hour. I know my husband's been doing it and he's splitting it up into small groups of 20 and 30 here and there. Not more manageable. Keep going, elbow to knee. Toe to finger, right here, four. Three. Two. Good, last one. Flip it over, other side, please. Okay, elbow down, knee down. Nice, strong position. Knee to elbow. I need an elbow. Keep slipping around my, my poor rug. There's a lot of sweat in this poor thing. <laughs> Working out inside here all these weeks. I guess post quarantine, we'll have to invest in anyone when I can go back to the gym. Four more, please. I can't blame the dog anymore for the smelly rug. I definitely contribute. Last two. Good, last one. Here's the deal. We are so close, but we're not done. Every minute on the minute. We're gonna do two exercises. If you finish before the minute's over, you rest. If not, you're gonna keep working through. You got 10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups. Five minutes, we start. Every minute on the minute, we start with 10 push-ups, down to 10 jumping jacks. We start that a new, once a minute for five minutes. And then we'll be finished. Good? Come on up, we're starting with jacks. Right, did I say that? Jacks, all right. 10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, times five. Ready, three, two, and one. Here's the only jumping I'm gonna do today. There you go, I see the modification and I'll take it. Once you get to 10, come on down guys. 10 push-ups. This will get us to our 50. You get a break when you're done here until the next minute starts right here. So some of you may want to rush through it, that's fine. Or you just take your time. Good, when you're done, you come up. You have 25 seconds to our next set. Ooh, sweaty. We're doing this four more times, guys. 10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups. Wish I could like show you my timer. We're gonna start in eight seconds, guys. Good. 10 push-ups, lots of energy. Leave it all here in the workout. Let's go. 10 push-ups, or sorry, 10 jacks, 10 jumping jacks. If you touch your fingertips over your head, go wide. Oh, I always just count. I'll go with you guys then. I'm down 10 push-ups right here. When you're done, you get a break.
Last one, come on up when you're done. Set two, we have three more times. We start again in 20 seconds, take your time. This is the break portion of the show, it's the best portion, right? All right. You can do different variations of jacks, guys. Seal jacks, low jacks, weighted jacks, do what works for you, ready? Let's go, set three right here, jumping jacks for 10. Go real wide. Make them strong. Oh, nice, Amy, I love it, keep going. And a 10 push-ups. The version that gives you the depth is the best version for you. Good, sit it back. 30 seconds rest. We gotta do two more times. And then we're gonna be all done. Feels good to know that that's so close. Shake it out. I liked your version, I'm gonna do it with you this time. Squat jack. Brings back the good old boot camp days. <laughs> 10 seconds, guys. We have two more versions, or two more sets. We'll have 140 push-ups for the day, among everything else, let's go. Right here, squat jack, jumping jack, modified jack, whatever works. I should have done more jacks when I program this, huh? I'm down for those push-ups. Excellent, guys. 25 seconds. One more set, guys. Hang in there. One more set. And then we can say goodbye. 10 jumping jacks, 10 push ups. Okay, ready. Four, three, two, let's go. Right here. Good, last set here. Should be pretty exciting right now. Good, now don't stop on me now. Come down for your push-ups. When you're done with your push-ups, can you hold a plank till we're finished? That's your next and final thing, my final ask. 10 push-ups, hold a plank till we're finished. 35 seconds left, guys. Hold the plank here, 30 seconds. So, hands underneath those shoulders. Quads are tight, glutes are tight, abs are pulled in. You got 22 seconds left. Your workout is done in 20. Breathe, 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 inhale through your nose. Push those shoulder blades away from each other. Abs are in for 10. Shake it out, guys. You're almost there. Everything should be hurting. Four, three, Two, one, sit it back guys. You did it. 140 push-ups and a bunch of other stuff. So on behalf of Club Sport and Formula 3 Fitness, thanks for joining us. I think it was a good one. We'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your day guys. Bye.